So when I left Vinetown for nearly two years, Isabel was <laughs> doing all the work for Isabel, just making sure things didn't go wrong, waiting for Mayor Vine to come back. And what happens? Oh. Ooh! Couple of mil! 13 mil, not bad! That's a lot of schmeckles! So, Vine, tell me, where are you headed today? Da burbs. Sure hope you create a great life for yourself in da burbs. Oh, fuck, it's Hopper! You would arrive on this train, and we've all been waiting for you, your arrival. Let's continue this discussion at the town hall, shall we? Here's a map of the burbs. So we've got, um, Bella. Welcome, Mayor. Welcome to the burbs. Got off to the station earlier than everyone else because I really, really wanted to see you. Okay, let's talk later after you finish whatever stuff you gotta do first. Eeks! Jesus. <laughs> Who is the, uh, oh, Shroom? I don't need that. Bob? Wow, it's the new mayor. Welcome to the Burbs. You swept into town like a movie star. I just know you're gonna turn the Burbs into an amazing place. We're gonna be- Hope we're gonna be pals. So you don't mind if I call you Vine instead of mayor, right? You address me by my title. Hi, Hopper. I know you. I know you. Welcome to the Burbs. <laughs> Alright. Make no mistake, Tom Nook. He knows what happened to those animals from the previous town. He knows where they are. I think we need to demolish some homes and build a great highway from Vineland to here. Oh, you fucker. No, no, no. It's not as hip as you think it is! I swear to God, it's not! No! Did really- did someone really just fucking move in front of my house? Seriously? Cherry? Are you fucking kidding me, Cherry? Cherry needs to be eliminated from this mortal coil, is what needs to happen. Yeah, well, that, like, it kind of sucks a little bit that, um, my house is still a tent, but now, like, come on, Cherry. Cher Cherry, why are you moving right in front of my fucking house, please? Man, you're gonna be a fun neighbor. I can't wait to have a fucking battle with Cherry. Cherry built her house right in front of my house. Son of a bitch. <sighs> oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Cherry, and you are- oh wow, I've heard about you. You're Vine. Uh, you're one of the reasons I moved here, so I could- oh really? So you could move directly in front of me? So if we could just remove Cherry, <laughs> and keep Scoot down here, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being neighbors with Scoot. He's not that close. I haven't met you. It's one of the pigs. Wait, Gal is a pig too? Really? Two pigs? I didn't realize I had two pigs in town. Uh, bacon? Do you want bacon? Hey, Timmy, what'd you bring for me today? Tape deck. I'm telling you, everyone's all about the 80s nostalgia these days. Even the fucking hipster Timmy is selling a tape deck. Can I sell the cherry that lives in the town to Reese? Do, do you think? Like, how much do you get for, like, I mean, Tom Nook is able to, like, sell animals as, as slaves. Hey, hey, Vine. Perfect weather for chilling outside. Seriously. <laughs> what? What's... <laughs> Come on, Bob. I, I was expecting more from you. So my approval rating is only 36%. I went from, like, 33 to 36%. What the hell? That's not a lot. I, I gave a fossil to the museum. I sold my town for, like, uh, 13 and a half million. And, uh, so every day Tom Nook just gives me a little bit of money. Which I'd like to think of it as the money earned in the salt mines being transferred into my account, of course. Hey, hang on a second. Just thought I'd do a little quick change there. W what do you think of my new outfit? I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with mice getting changed in front of me. It's a little weird. Hello, Mr. Scoop. We meet again at last. Vine, is that really you? I thought I heard something about one of my rivals moving here. Turn out to be you! We're not rivals. Oh, tomorrow the competition begins. He wants to, like, do like a weightlifting muscle swole competition. I can tell. I know it. 
first order of business as mayor is to selectively breed my favorite animals and also to remove cherry for blocking my view. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. How the fuck am I supposed to have any property? My property will never increase in value because Cherry's stupid house is in front of it. Sorry, I'm a little angry, can you tell? Fucking Cherry. If- oh man, if I could just find like a, a white helmet like Scoot, I could like dress like him. I have to study his motions, his movements. I have to study the way he eats, the way he shits, the way he fuck- uh, the way he makes friends, I mean. And then I can be him, and then we can be friends. Yeah, I need to become Scoot. I need to wear exactly what he's wearing. What is it doing? Is he hiding? He's like spying on me. <laughs> Cherry, what do you want? You're leaving soon. I had a dream about you the other night. You lost your best base or bass. You're balling like crazy. I don't want bad luck or anything. So here, take this. Oh, thank, thank you, Cherry. I mean... That was really nice of Cherry. Oh, it's an upright base. Yeah. So that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, man, it, it's certainly a shame that her house is right here uh, because I like Cherry now. But I kind of want to demolish her house and leave her in the town. Maybe she could live in the trash. Here we go. Oh my God. At last, Hyrule is mine! Uh, oh, wait, where did Hyrule go? Ganon, there goes the neighborhood. A manifestation of absolute evil has moved in. Yikes. This game just got dark. I, I fucking apparently have like a whole like... block here. This is the ghetto block. Because everyone decided to fucking move in right next to me. So Cherry lives directly below me. Below me. Uh... Ganon lives here. Now that I'm here, you better make good old Ganon feel welcome. I got your shirt. I'm wearing your shirt, dude. Fucking Ganon's in my town. What's your problem? What, what do you have, ticks? You got lice. God damn it, get the lice out. <laughs> what? Been itchy for a while now. I never thought it could be a flea. Thank you so much for picking it off of me. Wait, you think there are more? Let's keep this fleet thing a little secret. Our secret! What, mouse? I heard you have a flea, eeks. <laughs> I've wanted one of those for so long. How about I <laughs> trade you for my candle? Alright! Did Bella read the board? Who, who told Bella that I caught a flea? I thought this was supposed to be a secret. Again with the fucking fleas? Are you fucking kidding me? You filthy, filthy animal, you. How the fu- that happened in- in the three minutes I was writing a letter? I just saw you. Promise not to tell anybody, but I mean, you know, it's already too late. The whole fucking town knows now. Especially that mouse. The mouse must be eliminated. Kill. Kill! Kill the mouse! Ah, oh, fuck the bees! Wait a minute. Gala got the fleas, Bella took the flea, then gave it back to Gala. Bella is a plague rat, and is trying to infect all of the burbs with the Black Plague. I, for one, welcome this. I think this would be fun. We, we need some, you know, spiciness. Gotta spice it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Spice it up with plague! Phyllis does not give a single fuck. It's me, Phyllis. <gasps> How you doing? Yeah, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Uh, yeah, you motherfucker. I was at a uh, undisclosed drive-thru, and uh, some lady could barely get around my car. And yeah, and, and I there was plenty of room, but I heard her out. She, her window was rolled down. She was driving to the side of me so she could get away. And I heard, fucking car while she was looking at my car. And there's plenty of room for her to get around me. There's plenty of room. So I had to go in reverse, back up. Thank you! Oh, there he is. Shh, don't alert him. Don't alert him. Don't make eye contact. Don't let him know. Don't let him know. I can't- I can't talk to him right now. I'm busy. Hey, Bella. You got fleas? I'm thinking I want to spread the good word about our town elsewhere. I could do that by moving away. 
Yeah, by leaving the burbs, I can make it more famous. I'm going to leave on the 17th of this month. Eeks. Alright. <laughs> that leaves more room for ducks. Oh, I love cat and mouse cartoons. <laughs> That's Bella getting chased out of town. It's my favorite TV show. The mouse dies. Nah, I'm kidding. The cat gets brain damage. Talking to Bella not long ago, she mentioned she was thinking about moving. It might just be a joke, but it might not be. She could be seriously considering moving. When you get a chance, could you go check on her? Mm, no, I'm good. We need to make room for more ducks, sorry. And Coco. Sorry, Bella. I'm just like you, Scoot, you see? I have a helmet and a beak. Together, we are one. Scoot's like, I'm fucking moving out of this dark, this bullshit. Fucking hell, Drake. So now we've got two ducks living within 20 feet of each other. na 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 duck town! Even though he's a mallard. Hey, who are you? Oh, you're the vine I've heard so much about. Nice! Hmm, is it just me or does this house look like it's made of candy? It would be great if it was. I would love to live in a candy house. Maybe sit in a candy chair. Oh, were we talking about something just now? Uh, oh yeah, let's be friends, Quacko. Drake, what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, are you still in- You're still here? What are, what are you doing here? I really need a new catchphrase, Vine. Tell me one right away, sure. Pleget? Is that what you meant? Yes. So, Pleget... Is that right? It fits me to a T. Yeah, no shit it does. You got fleas. Oh, what a surprise! You've got fleas, you dirty fucking cunt! Some people have said that this is way more fleas than they ever see. I'm telling you, it's it's Bella. And the, the one spot I wanted to be secluded. Look. Everyone's here. Now Medley's here. There's a whole other island that you guys could move to. Only Scoot is welcome. Maybe Drake. Hey, Medley. So nice of you to stop by and visit. Uh, I'm still thrilled that you wanted to invite me here in the first place. Now I'm here. Gotta get back to unpacking, so let's talk more tomorrow, okay? Medley's kind of more bird than duck. But, but she's allowed here. Does Medley jerk you off with her feet? Yeah, that, that's a vine what? If I've ever heard one. And the answer is yes. It's nice to meet you, I'm Coco. Coco is so fucking creepy looking, but I love it. Move here! Oops, there's just the tiniest of snags. The burbs doesn't have any vacancies. Like Drake, for example? What do you think? No, what? Drake just moved here. Ganon will be moving out of town, is that alright? No, I kinda like Hopper. He's alright. No. God, no. Later! Just between the two of us. Cherry's all set to move out tomorrow. Keep it a secret, okay? Shh. Again, allow me to point out one more time. Cherry did nothing wrong. Cherry was a cool villager. But this fucking real estate, my house is worth less that Cherry is here. Like, what are you doing, Cherry? Why are you following me? Why are you building your house so close to mine? Maybe you've got this figured, uh, Vine, but I gotta leave town. Not I want to leave town. A weird little guy named Wisp told me that a pal of mine from way back needs my help. Don't know if I believe it, but I just can't leave a friend hanging, right? It's sort of like going on an adventure. And take care of yourself, you hear me? What, what? Wisp lied. I still can't believe how every fucking villager that moved in is just concentrated. Just on this crescent of the island. Curly's probably gonna go. Gal is definitely gonna go. Because I have more ducks to move in. So, uh, Cherry lived right here. So guess who's moving in over here? Coco. Thanks, Coco. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is my life now. Zip zoom, motherfuckers. Zip fucking zoom. Hey, Drake, it's me, Scoot. What's going on, buddy? Just me, your fellow duck friend. Definitely not the mayor. This is my house now. This is where I live. Coco just standing there is some of the creepiest shit. Hi, Coco. It's kind of a funny story, actually. I kept hearing this voice. It kept on saying, move to the burbs. 
Normally I wouldn't give it a second thought, but uh, I don't know. There was something about it I couldn't shake. Hope you don't think I'm an oddball or anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely not odd. Moving to town just because a voice told me to? When you get to know me, you'll see I'm really quite level-headed. Nice to meet you, Doyoing. She's just, like, hanging out, being a gyroid. I'm gonna get Molly because Molly's a duck. Hopper's okay. No, oh, the Scoot will not be moving out. That is incorrect. Okay. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Finally ready to move to a new town. I thought it over for a long time and I did lots of research and I don't want to be bacon here in this town. You know what's weird? I have more pigs in my town than ducks. Ganon, Curly, Gala. That's weird. We're tipping the scales and Medley is not a duck. Well, this is, I guess, kind of bad news. Even though it looks kind of cool. It turns out the next villager is moving directly in front of my house. Thanks, guys. Really overpopulating my area. Fuckers. Bob didn't even give me a chance to get him to stay. Isabel was like, oh, by the way, Vine, we got some bad news. Uh, Bob is fucking off to a new town because Bob is, is secretly sick of your shit and wouldn't give you a chance. Why you do? If you want to live your own life someplace else, Bob, you can leave. I'm not going to even eulogize you. You're going to have to just figure that out yourself. You're going to have to find the people who loved you who will miss you. Which probably is no one in this town now that I think about it. Cherry? The fuck are you doing in here? Thought I'd come see the shops for old time's sake. Cherry knows what's up. See, Cherry knows where all the stuff is. I'm assuming other benefits aside from being thick. Did you notice? It seems like Curly and Medley are always cooking something up. They look more like conspirators than pals, if you know what I mean. Zip zoom. Could be planning a major prank. I better keep an eye on them. Hmm. What kind of conspiracy? Are they investigating my, uh, my salt mines? I'll go ahead and open it. My absolute favorite denim jacket. Hooray, there's also a letter. Cool. To future Ganon. I'm putting my best outfit in the time capsule in case of some sort of emergency. So future me, are you in need of your best outfit right now? Is the world bleak and scary? Kinda. But also, Ganon's the one who makes the world bleak and scary, so I mean... I owe you some things. Here, have my unknown machine. What the fuck? We're gonna make the world dark and scary with this unknown machine. Ganon's gonna have me flip the switch on the machine. And some crazy shit's gonna happen. Ganon can no longer rely on magic. Ganon has to use machines. This is a good room, I guess, for this. Just an unknown machine, huh? Should I do it? Do you think what'll happen if I press this button? I mean, it's... It's a present from Ganon. What could go wrong? <laughs> Get it. What well, really though, what could go wrong? I mean, it... it it's like the world's gonna end. Okay. I don't know what that was, but something tells me... Oh god. The 21st? That's two days. Alright, later. Yeah, I might be jumping the gun. Thanks for everything you've ever done for me. Well, that's a... This is an emotional moment. I hope you'll be friends with me for a little while longer, Slushy. It's so emotional, I'm gonna go rob his house now. Look what I have. At all times, I can spy on Scoot. This is my Scoot control tower. So, I know what he's doing at all times. His heart rate. Where he is. How he feels. His dilation of his eyes. There is nothing Scoot can do that I will not know about. Scoot's like, I'm not a bit of a step of. What was that, Scoot? Can you say it again? It's Dark Zorado, the name is Zip Zoom. I'm too dead. I brought it. A beat. Oh, you want a dung beetle, Scoot? <laughs> is this. Are you really giving me a dung beetle? It'll be the world's most athletic bug. This is an interesting turn of events. I'll take good care of Yvonne. You can count on me! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Scoot. I keep giving him, like, garbage. Just what did you drag me into this time, Vine? I know you've been slave trading with the other animals. 
Mayor Vine, there seems to be some trouble in the salt mines. What is it, Isabel? Some of the workers started a rebellion and are getting out of control. It says here they're being led by Cherry. Fuck, why her? What are we going to do, Mayor? We have no choice. Nook can't handle this on his own. Give her what she wants. You don't mean... Mayor, she knows too much. What if she talks? I never should have agreed to this. She won't. Oi, number six. Eh, uh, Cherry, you're out. I missed you. I've missed you too. No one escapes me twice. Well, you come back, Cherry. You, I freed you from the salt mines. Come. Come and, come and live with your, your fellow animals. Just don't build your house, like, right next to mine. What are you doing, Scoot? Why is Scoot staring at my house? What is he plotting? That's weird, dude. I don't believe them. I don't want to believe them. He likes you, Scoot. He won't hurt you. You have to dig up the truth. But how could Vine... Why, why would Vine ever? And Ganon, too? They, they're my friends, aren't they? I mean, just... No, I'll, I'll put my mind... I'll put it out of my mind. Does Scoot know? What the hell? <laughs> oh, I know what's happening. Scoot. He's he's looking for the bodies. He, he knows that if he comes back and he just digs up like the, the he wants to dig up the bodies in my basement, guys. Why are you naked? That's weird. He's naked and got like a tattoo of a, a little yellow chick on his stomach. That's strange. Going strong. Too much oolong tea zip zoom. I don't know what that is, Scoot. Cyrus took care of me at retail the other day. He is so cool. <laughs> Trickling sweat, rugged hand. What the fuck are you talking about right now, Scoot? He's a true master of his craft. And so manly <laughs> zip zoom. <laughs> well, this got weird. There's new secrets revealed. Um. Wow. I didn't know you felt that way, Scoot. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Cherry moved, like, over here. So there's another, like, lower... ...complex of houses. No one wants to move to the left island. Cherry's new home. All that's left over here is Curly. Which... You know, Curly's not gonna be here much longer, I don't think. Santa Coat. Okay, so I have to do... Oh, 420. I have to do all of the Santa stuff, right? I have to wear- I have to become the Santa. Yep. All right, twat. Many years later, the world became a safer place. So a bunch of animals and humans start coexisting, and then things get kind of weird. And then dead bodies are found in my basement. Really, really weird. Oh, hey, what is this- What does this weird button in front of the pizza do? Yeah, Santa, good idea. Yeah, Santa Claus. Yeah. Worst Christmas ever. They're just consuming Santa's body. Well, Christmas has been ruined. And with the press of a button, everyone's Christmas has been destroyed. Happy fucking holidays. They'll never find the bodies. Now I have to figure out what my villagers want. Well, is this like kind of a- Whoa, 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 what is this? A, a duck committee? This is like an impromptu duck meeting. They're, they're gonna plot to take down the rest of the animals in town. Medley was not invited, because Medley's not really a duck. Anybody know Jingle? Oh. I guess that would be Jingle. Happy holidays. I'm Jingle the Black-Nosed Reindeer- Wait a minute. That's not as good. This is the bootleg version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, everybody. I'm here in town to do something very important, but it's a secret. I'm gonna sneak into everyone's houses and leave them presents. <laughs> I'm gonna set up cameras in people's houses, disguised as presents. How'd you like to help me out? Santa, Santa, I can't believe it. Present. I gotta... Oh, fuck. No, I don't have one. Sorry. Oh, I see. Maybe I wasn't as good all year as I thought. You, you were fine, but... What, what does Medley want? Santa, you're still here. Can I help you with anything? Up, uh, nothing! I was sort of hoping for a present and Jingle hasn't come by my house yet. It's Santa, I'm so excited. Ah, fuck, I don't know what, what they want. Um... What if I just get them beaks? Oh, Scoot wants something yellow. Okay. I, I hear Scoot wants something yellow. 
Or was it Molly? It was Molly that wanted that. Eh, you know what? Who cares? I have an orange jacket, Scoot. Put some fucking clothes on. You're like naked. Holy holiday hamstrings. It's a present. I'm gonna open it. What? I didn't ask for an orange jacket. Ah, oh, forget it. You're the best, Santa. You made Toy Day perfect. I hope you get all your work done tonight. Well, I just ruined Toy Day for Scoot. So, thus, my Toy Day has been fucking ruined. Here, have a banana, Molly. Maybe, maybe this is what Molly wants. I wonder what it is. Should I shake it first or smell it? Oh, I'm just gonna open it right now. It, 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 it's a banana, huh? Not that I'm ungrateful or anything, it's very nice. I'm having a cum quack right now, guys. I... What would Ganon want? A bat umbrella, definitely, right? Because Ganon likes bats, employs them in his service, and in, in the castle. Oh, a bat umbrella, my wish came true. Yes! I, I did something right. Wait, I didn't want to make Ganon's Christmas good. Hey, Medley, I got a delicious banana for- Oh, wait, no, never mind, I don't have that anymore. You get Jasmine Bonsai. Hooray! It's it, it no, fuck. Oh hey hey Drake, I got something great for you. A retro fridge. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but thanks anyway. All ducks disappointed. All ducks and bird disappointed. All right, listen, Coco, you you scare the shit out of me sometimes, but I have a gift for you. A tall lantern. You seem like you'd enjoy that. Can I open it right now? It, it's a tall lantern. Fuck! Of course I can get into the mind of Ganon. I don't know what the fuck a duck wants. Or a living gyroid. Have... a... itchy tile! Merry Christmas! This is exactly what you want. I didn't ask for some kitschy tile. Oh well. <laughs> well... <laughs> thank- oh, wow, he just called me Santa Bro. Here's your present, Inkwell. It's a, a mini circuit. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Holy holiday hamstrings. Yeah, no shit, you didn't ask for it. No shit. So, all in all, I'd say it was a successful toy day. The only person that was satisfied was, uh, the, the person who's trying to destroy the world. Pretty much the exact, you know, the exact thing I wanted to achieve today. Hey, Jingle, I, I did your thingles. I'm gonna go ahead and... Just absolve my own responsibility for this situation, and I'm gonna say that Jingle should have given me a list, or did it himself. What do you mean, impeach the mayor? That's traitorous. I'm a good mayor. I don't know what the fuck this is. I, I don't know what I've become, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Katie, hello. Uh, mister, are you from the Burbs? What? No way, you're the mayor. Hi, Mr. Mayor, I'm Katie. I'm on a big adventure, uh, traveling to all sorts of different towns by myself. But I'm starting to think about where to go next. I just don't know where to go yet. Oh, right, Mr. Mayor, how about you take me over to some other town? No. Oh. Inkwell said that he wanted to leave, and I'm not stopping him. So, Inkwell, Inkwell, well? Inkwell, Inkwell, Inkwell? The squid is leaving. Inkwell looks wistfully. Alright, now this is a fucking sight to behold. A squid is fishing. What do you have against- what do you have against your species? Well, kinda. Kind of a random question, but... If you had a million bells, what would you do with it? Um, uh, probably... Repay loans like to Tom Nook? Ah, that's so responsible, but what about our dreams, Zipzoom? What dreams? Like, our dreams together? Scoot, what the fuck? How do you know? I mean... Oh fuck, G Ganon's making a beeline for Scoot. Ganon just saved me from Scoot. I think Scoot's getting a little obsessive lately. Maybe this whole time Ganon's been trying to save me from Scoot's, like... ...overbearingness. Let's see, Ganon's gonna go have a talk with Scoot. Like, dude, what are you doing? Don't let him know. I wonder... ...if there's a way to make my room look cooler. I know, fine. Do you have any furniture you could recommend to me? Anything will do. I, t I trust your taste. Quacko. I- Oh. Oh. Where's Drake? What'd you do with Drake? Where's the body? Oh, fuck. I mean, where- where is the character Drake in this village at this present moment? Scoot, have you seen Drake? No, I'm not che cheating on you with another duck. Okay, I'm seriously... ...upset. Drake was just here. Just a minute ago. 
Oh, you're fishing. Am I blind? I'll wait. I'll just, I'll wait. I'll observe. Oh, fuck. What do you want? What do you want? I was waiting for Drake. Would you be interested in buying a banana? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Hopefully I wasn't too pushy as a salesperson. I think you'll enjoy the banana. Did she just re-gift me the thing I gave her on Christmas? That's- that is a ballsy move, M Molly. She she sold it to me. Alright, well, don't rub it in. Sh semantics gave it to me, sold it to me. Who check out my awesome soda case. You're into stuff like this, right? I knew it. You want me to give you mine, don't you? I, I guess. What? You're not excited? Come on, just take my stuff. You know you want to. Anyway, I, I don't remember where I got half my stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal to me. Scoot just gave me a- wait, wait, Scoot is like coming on to me real hard. You'll notice that I was pursuing Scoot for a very long time, and he was kind of like neglecting me, or investigating me to find the bodies in the basement. And now Scoot is giving me stuff and telling me how much he loves me and everything. What the hell's going on? And he's just trying to butter me up so I don't hurt him. But why would I hurt a precious creature such as he? Oh, ketchup. She thinks she goes with everything, but she really, really doesn't. Words of the wise, do not eat any of the pizza that she offers you. What's- what's wrong with the pizza? You know, I feel really like I could make a name for myself in a town like this. I'm clearly destined for fame. The only question is when you should live here. No, for real? That's like exactly what I hoped you were going to say. I just love this place. Okay, just as soon as I get home, I'm gonna start packing up for the move. Biddy, biddy. I went shopping with Scoot the other day. On impulse, I got my sandbag on, and I thought about what I'd done, and I realized I have no use for that type of thing. Fine, I'm begging you, please buy it. Okay. Why, wow, you're really gonna help me out like that? I'm a lucky dude. Hanging out with Scoot. This may be our last interaction, Inkwell. So, uh, it's nice knowing you. Really didn't get to know you that well. You weren't a duck or anything. You just stay there and stare out into the distance, motionless. That's fine. You can just keep doing that. Are you okay? Sorry. I mean, I wasn't gonna ask you to stay if you wanted to leave. Yeah, I know I wasn't the best friend. I didn't... I didn't visit you. I didn't talk about you. I didn't really... He's just having a moment. All right. Well, going to suck this cock clean right now. Excuse me. Oh, do you see where um other duck has moved? Other duck is all the way like reclusively on the other side of town. Well, Inkwell, wait a minute. Inkwell, you were supposed to leave on the 13th. My house just doesn't have enough stuff. It's too empty. Be a pal, bring me some furniture. Wait a minute. Did you decide to stay? Scoot? Like, I'm, I worry about Scoot sometimes. He just stares into nothingness for a while. At least Cherry's, like, looking at flowers. Inkwell's got somewhere to go. Look at Scoot. What the fuck is he doing? It's a pizza duck. It's a duck after my own heart. <laughs> the song is a little slower. <laughs> oh, Vine, there you are. You remember me, don't you? Um, you, like, invited me to live here? As promised, here I am. Moving here was such a totally awesome idea. I just love it here. I can already tell that the best times of my life are gonna happen in this little town, Biddy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Biddy? We gotta change that right away. Are you all ready for the fishing tourney this Saturday, Vine? It's gonna be totally epic. Alright, I'm already done with this fucking duck. I'm done, that's it. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace of a duck. Well, maybe she'll grow on me. So, you see, Cucumber. Yeah, I've had my eye on that mess for a while now. <laughs> Here, have this- what are you gonna do with that? He's gonna put it in his... mouth, isn't he? How'd you even see that in my inventory, you weirdo? I want your sea cucumber from Curly. Moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little uneasy. Do you think there's a good gym in my new town? What if my new rival is better than me? Oh man. Curly's moving? When the fuck did this happen? Fine, I'm seeing a lot of you today. Uh, what's going on? Hey, so this is kind of out of the blue, but would you... What would you use to replace a... Brom... What, what is... What the fuck? I don't know what that is. I, I can't answer your question. I'm thinking of switching my... 
Bromelache IE with something that is that a brazier? Cherry just <laughs> stalking. Huh, who's he with now? Isabel, huh? Really? You're gonna toy with my emotions like that? Well, fine! What, what? The most true statement Cherry has ever made. Asshole. She, sh she should have said. Hey, Vine, mm, Vine, 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 Vine. Let's, let's think of something new to call you. Alright, go for it. Alright, try this on for size. Bro. <laughs> I know, right? Yep. Alright then. Henceforth, thou shalt be known as Bro. I feel like, um, you're king or something now, Zip Zoom. <laughs> Cyrus took care of me at retail. What did I tell you about Scoot? Trickling sweat. Rugged hands. He's a true master of his craft. What the fuck are you telling me, Scoot? Trickling sweat! Scoot has a crush on Cyrus. You know Cyrus is married, right, Scoot? You... You lecherous duck, you. And as usual, I... Can't fit any more presents. What the fuck is this? What are you guys doing? I leave my house. There's like a brigade of villagers. They're disgruntled. They had stuff to tell me. <clears throat> you know what they were gonna do? They were gonna complain that the town is... garbage. And they had all these, like, strongly worded things they were gonna say to me. And they, you know, they had it all planned out. But when they saw me, they chickened out. They, they were unable to comply with their original plan. That was a strange look you just gave me, Scoot. What's what's the problem here? It's been a while, bro. Hope you weren't slacking off on your workouts just because we haven't been connecting. Oh, bro, what you need now, Zipsoom? What's up? What if those guys are plotting an escape from this water tank? Ah, no, I doubt it. How could they, Scoot? First of all, there's nothing in these water tanks. There's a starfish. What the fuck, Scoot? Are, are you okay? Get the fuck out of my town, Bella. We don't need any more of your fleas. I made a trip back here just to run around. So good to see you. KK Slider's gonna have fleas by the end of this. Ooh, KK looked right at me. He's so cool, eeks. You gotta come to my new club. It's called Plague Rat. Now, now, Hopkins doesn't just go camping to sit in his van and play video games. He also drinks orange juice in there. Do you live here? What? What time is it? I I'm Hopkins, and I love green curry. I bet you didn't know this, but I have a driver's license. I made it myself. It's either that or fill out a bunch of papers. It would have taken forever, <laughs> and I'd pie to eat. I love Hopkins. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. It's a pretty sweet photo, huh? It's like... You can't just do that. You can't just draw your own driver's license. Hopkins was way too busy to actually take driver's ed. Like, are you kidding me? You can't do that. I think some people want you to live here. Why? Wow, that's an awesome idea. Actually, I was just thinking about how much I like to eat. The food here is super delicious. Just tastes better, you know? Enough chat. I gotta start to prep for my move, Thumper. All right, Hopkins. I'll see you manana. How about it? Something of mine for something of yours? Let's do it. Then how about my rubber apron for your Mr. Flamingo? Eh, I don't care. Got an apron for my cooking endeavors. Hey, the, your cook is here. Oh, Vine! That's a relief, I haven't, uh, haven't seen you in a bit, so I thought maybe you got mixed up in something shady. No! No, definitely not selling any drugs to the other animals. Check it out. You're no match for my string fish tail attack. Best movie line ever. What movie is that from? Pretty good, right? The heroine said that in this movie I just watched. It's a perfect tough girl line. What I need now is to study a string fish to learn this tail attack thing, but they're not so easy to catch. God damn it! You tricked me! I thought this was going in a different direction. I thought we were gonna... I don't know, exchange movie quotes on the couch or something. But now you're telling me I have to go catch a fucking fish? I need to get into Mayor Vine's basement without arousing any suspicion, but how? I know! Hey, Cherry, wait up. Cherry, can you do me a favor, Zip Zoom? Sure. I guess. Go ahead. What, what? String fish, aren't they, like, super rare, though? Hey, your cook is here. Oh, Vine, I haven't seen you in a bit, so I thought maybe you got mixed up in something shady. Good to see you're okay. What, what? Nope. Nah, I was definitely not selling drugs to other animals. Vine, you're looking at me weird. Talk to me. Check this out. You're no match for my string tail attack. 
Best movie line ever. What movie is that from? You can just watch its perfect tough girl's line. What I need now is a stringfish to learn its tail attack thing, but they're not so easy to catch. Hey, you're good at fishing, right? God damn it, you tricked me! I thought this was going in a different direction. I thought we were gonna... I don't know, exchange booby quotes on the couch or something? But now you're telling me I have to catch a fucking fish? Sorry to bother you, but I really have no idea what it is you do all day. Are you just super sly, or am I just not paying attention? <sighs> Let me go ahead and say I'll do it and not do it. So a medley left something in my place, and I was gonna go find her to return it. Okay. The real question is, where is Medley? Where is Medley? Drake, can you help me find Medley? You know, to do your task? Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't walk three feet? Alright, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Drake has a thing for you. In reality, he's just nervous because he likes you, okay? Sorry, Medley. By the way, the item that Drake is giving you is a love bracelet, and it's got Drake pheromones on it. Does it work like that? I don't even know, but... If you accept this gift, you will be bound in marriage with Drake. What? I forgot to take this home. Oh, it's just a shirt. Never mind, I lied. I was positive that I'd lost this. Oh, what a relief. Good duck. Hey, Scoot, it's me, your friend. Yeah, you shake that duck ass. You better compete to see who can dance better. Work it out. He wants to have a dance-off, and then he stops dancing. This ladder is just so cool. He's a fan of today. Well, don't stop dancing just because I'm here. Now he's staring at a wall. Oh, my poor defective duck friend. Plague rat! Plague rat! Alert! Alert! Danger! What, what is this, a town for has-beens? Fucking Bella, Bob. Hey, Vine. I got something for you to do. So... Will you bury this time capsule in my... ...for me? I've written down my life story, or my life's goals in a letter to my future self. We'll just tuck it into your letter slot, okay? This is a letter. An attempt to communicate with those in the mines below the town. Help is coming. Do not lose hope. You will be rescued. Oh, hey, Drake. Drake is making sure I, I do the deed. I'm trying to look inconspicuous, but he's paying attention. He may, he's making sure that I... I dig that shit and get that letter through to those miners. Hey there, look at us bumping into each other again, Quacko. Totally random, wasn't paying attention to what you were doing just now. Still up, Vine? What's up? You think I've got water in my can here, Vine? No way, it's tomato juice. And don't even ask me what it's for, Biddy. You're weird. But I like that. At least you're not a douchebag. Basically, ketchup carries around a bucket of her own urine. Ugh. Wait a minute, is it urine or blood? Here we go, birthday party! Like, three minutes of birthday party, and it's just two people. It's just ketchup. Yay, you came to celebrate with me, I'm so glad you're here. Come on, Ketchup just got here too. She brought an amazing present with her. It's not required or anything, but by any chance, did you? I got you a real live birdhouse. Oh wait, I haven't fed that bird in like months. I just heard uh, the best cake joke, Vine, remind me to tell it to you on your birthday. That's not helpful. I never have birthdays. I never age. I'm an immortal character. I wish it was my birthday. I'm glad it's Coco's special day, but I'm totally bummed out. Promise me you'll come to my next birthday party, Vine, and bring me an awesome gift. I can get you a dead bird in a birdhouse. Birthdays mean being one step closer to maturity. Someday I want to be mayor of my own town. This birthday party sucks. This birthday party sucks. Vine, are you going already? Fun times always seem to fly by. Thank you for coming over. I hear that Ketchup is thinking about moving. Well, it's sort of sad, but she must have her reasons, right? I'll try to get the whole story next time I talk to her, Quacko. What do you mean Ketchup's moving? No one likes Coco in this town. And Ketchup, being the newer town member, was like, I'll give it a shot. Hung out with Coco all day. Got scared shitless by the gaping holes in Coco's face. And was like, I'm moving. I'm done. That's it. I'm out. I'll sit. I'll sit. Here, look, I'll even... Come here. Let's talk. Hey, I was just gonna say, did you know that Scoot... 
I mean, it just, you know, it just really bums me out, Cherry, and I just kind of wanted someone to talk to, and, you know, I've been going through a tough time being the mayor of this town, and everyone's been kind of real mean to me, and they're just using me to, like, accomplish their goals and, like, do ordinance-related things, and I don't know. I was just kind of hoping maybe, uh, maybe we could, um, say, <laughs> hey, welcome to the all-night party. The password is snooze button. Got it? I just vented to you. I poured my heart out. I was just really, really upset about Scoot. We're done. Yeah. Time to replace Cherry. I guess we'll meet our new, uh, our new animal, Bunnelby. Or whatever its name is. What, what's your name again? Rabbite? Rabbob? <laughs> Rabbillium? Oh, Hopkins. Hey, hey, you remember me, don't you? Hopkins, I was here at the campground, and then, 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 I know something important happened at the campground. Anything ringing a bell? That's right. You asked me to move in, and I did. Good times. Now that I'm here, we can hang out all the time. My house is cleaner than you thought it would be, right? Well, no, you just built it. I actually just did a big, clean thumper. Thank God for that comma. Because if that comma wasn't there, I'd be really, really curious as to what a big, clean thumper is. I, I kind of want to move around in front of ketchup and do like a mating ritual or something. No, I, I just need ketchup to like acknowledge me and be like, oh, hey, I was thinking about moving. Convince me otherwise. And then I could be like, all right, you got a duck that can lift twice his own weight with one flap. All right. And if that's not enough, I can get you one tickets to the gun show. I, his name is Scoot. You guys should make some um, French dressing or something. <laughs> I don't know. Are you moving? Are you moving? Are you moving? Hello? Witness me! On days like this, I really should be skipping around town with some hot cider. But that doesn't answer the question. Are you moving? From Ketchup. The day for me to move is here, but what if I'm really lonely in my new town? Hey, you should come with me. Is that too selfish of me to ask? Never mind, I guess. Well, fuck off, Ketchup. I tried to get you to not move. That ketchup is just straight up gone. It's like you think you know someone, and then they're just gone. I was like, walking in front of her and shit. Trying to get her attention, so she would be like, Oh, I'm moving! Stop me! Yet... The Inkwell is still here. That's funny. Weren't you supposed to leave, Inkwell? Someone's camping for the first time. Oh, shit! Are you okay? What the fuck happened to your face? I'll be seeing you around for a little bit, Rouch. I wanted to replace ketchup with another duck. But then again, I guess, you know, having your skin removed, uh, the least I could do is move you in. You should move here. Whoa, where'd this come from? I'm happy you'd invite me, but I'm not sure. I need some time to think about this. Oh, idea time. How about a game? If you win, I'll move here. If, if you lose, I have to get your axe. I get to have your axe. What? Rock, paper, scissors. We'll play it once. I'll lay it down all. Lay it all down on the line. Uh-oh. You got me. That means you win the game. Oh, well, deal's a deal. Guess I'll be moving here soon. So much to do that I gotta get start getting ready. Let's see. Your name is Vine, right? Pleased to meet you, Vine. Wait a minute. What, what were you gonna do with an axe? What was Lucky gonna do with an axe? Fucking... God, that is... It's a weird item to request. Here, I want you to have my bear costume in return for me getting the fruit. <laughs> Why do you have this, Scoot? What the fuck? Wow, what are you doing with a bear costume? I've always wanted one of those. Let's make a deal. Want to trade my bear costume for my round cactus? It's like a chode, almost. Sweet. Okay, then here we go. Drake's been trying to get this costume from Scoot for years. It's a very strange thing to A, want, and then B, give me. Uh, still spreading disease, Bella. It's totally fine. Look, she's wearing a, a skull shirt. No shit you're wearing a skull shirt. That's the, the fucking symbol of death. You bring plague. Cherry. By the time you've read this, I'll be long gone. I gotta get a move on so I can scope out my new turf, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna give everything I've got in my new town from Gutsy Cherry. I- I had nothing to do with this. I had no inclination that Cherry was thinking of leaving. This is officially the second time Cherry has left. 
from Cherry. Remember that time capsule you buried for me before? I moved away, so can I ask you to dig it up? If you do, you can keep what's inside. I know what she put in there, it's a fucking bomb. I mean, you know, you just try so hard to please these animals. Fucking animals. Well, I have to fix the overlay now. Gotta- gotta move on in life, you know what I mean? Cyrus took care of me at retail the other day. He is so cool. What do you mean, took care of you, Scoot? Look, even Drake is like, what the hell's going on? Did you see Drake's face? He's like, I don't think I wanted to overhear that. You see what you've done, Scoot? Now everyone here is confused and staring at us. Guess we don't need this shit anymore. Cherry came cl too close to the truth. Oh, look, it's our new... Did Cherry have to move so Lucky could move in? <laughs> Southbird, here's where you would put the Tim and Eric clip of the mind blown. You just go... <laughs> And it's like the universe exploding. Whoa, Vine, do you remember me? I'm lucky. Back when I came to camp here, you were like, why don't you just move here? So that's what I did. I've been here for about a week now. I'm glad we finally ran into each other. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What is that? Stop saying that. Scoot, I know you're just... I know what you're doing. I know you want to see Cyrus. I know that he's a hunky... Uh, uh you know... He jostles your duck feathers, I understand that. I, I get that he's got a bottle opener for your corkscrew. I don't even know what that means either. Find all of you, I promise. This is bad vine. I got a package that was meant for Inkwell. And I really want to open it and see what's inside, but that would be so wrong. You have to help me resist the temptation of Snoop Vine. Will you please take this package away from me and deliver it to Inkwell? What what are we doing, Lucky? Where what are we doing here? Come on. Inkwell! Yeah, I was wondering where you were. Uh, it turns out I have a package from three feet away. What the fuck is happening up here? Freckles. <laughs> Why did Freckles... So, oh, wait a minute. Everyone moves to the same island. But Freckles decides to move... up here? Of all places? Hey, you haven't been talking to me at all recently. I don't think I haven't noticed. If you don't start paying attention to me, I'm gonna start doing stuff to make you pay attention to me. Guys, I'm scared. Look at the face! What, did you just threaten me, Hopkins? Just the other day, I was banging some pots and pans together. The noise was terrible. You wouldn't want me to do something like that again, would you? What's up? Wondering why I'm carrying a shovel vine? This could go in a weird direction. Big plans to connect our houses with an underground tunnel. You don't want to be in my basement. That's where I keep the bodies. It'll be the last thing you ever see. Oh. Ganon moved out. I haven't seen you in forever. Did you go on vacation or something? I have lots that I wanted to talk to you about. Let's catch up soon, Cranando. No, no, cranando has gone. Would you let me come over to your house sometime? Ooh. I'm a duck. Been studying new techniques. <clears throat> Coco. You have been so kind to me ever since we met. Please take care of yourself. I'll miss you. Oh, that's Coco that left? Ganon's still here? Aw, oh, no. Fuck. God damn it, Coco. Well, that kills the. Oh, fuck. Molly came to my house the other day and told me my room needs more decorations. Excuse me? I'm sloppy seconds? Where's the vomit button? Boobies in Animal Crossing. That's... probably worth it just for that alone. Tit is real. They do look real. I mean, the, the statue does look real, so let's get it. Yeah, take it, you fucking bargain cunt. Yeah, really crazy, what a shock. Oh shit. Oh yeah! 
We're going to we're going to Flavor Town today. We're going. We're taking a one way ticket to f fucking Titty City today. Have you heard of Peking duck with a little orange sauce? Cause boy, we could fry that up. Cause you know when you're hanging with Scoot, you're gonna have a hoot. Oh hey, are you the vine I've heard so much about? I'm Freckles. Well, you probably know that already, don't you? Seriously, I can't imagine the burps without me. You seem totally awesome. Uh, I can't wait to make this friendship official. Oh, hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you come over to my place right now, Ducky? Holy shit, I thought I moved fast. We can talk about all sorts of stuff, you know, like how much we love Kugel and whatever. A Kegels? Like the exercise for your... <laughs> how about it? Feel like coming over right now? Yeah. Cool, let's go over to my place then. Lead the way, Ducky. See, th this is what happens when Molly... ...ends up hanging out with Ganon... ...the night before. And yet the thirst remains. Right. Where do you live? Who are you? All oh, right, yeah, you're the outcast. Okay, we're here. Wait for a sec. I'll unlock my door. Make yourself at home. Where's the bed? I mean, uh, it's a nice place you've got here. Looks like a bed, right? Well, it is, but you know what I use it for? Oh! Well, it was, it was pretty bad. Right now, all the other animals are gonna be suspicious. I just saw Vine Fieri and... Duck... Duckle. Leave the house. Freckle. Leave the house together. Oh. Hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's Scoot's birthday. I gotta get Scoot a gift. Oh, he's hanging out with Inkwell. You're finally here, bro. I bet they worked out together. Hey, Vine, you're ready for a birthday party, right? I blew off the big hockey tournament to dash over here. They definitely worked out together. Hey, you have to definitely do it. Yeah. I got you a door. No, I I'm gonna return with a better gift. No, no, no I didn't flub. I didn't flub. I'm I gotta get. I got no, bro. Yo, I'm gonna give Scoot. You know what? So this this is boobs. It's beautiful. It's artwork. It's not distasteful. But I I'm thinking Scoot is now old enough to see. His first pair of tits. I mean, I know he's really into Cyrus, the Scoot fellow, but uh, I'm wondering if maybe he'd be down for to, to you know, it's a it's it's artwork. It's it's massive artwork. It is classic and beautiful. And Scoot, I can't see your reaction. God damn it! It's a beautiful moment, and there's a tree in the way. A beautiful statue. I really wasn't expecting this. You don't give to quite, but having a bro like you is the best. He loved it. Right here. Days like this really make me appreciate all my bros and lady bros. <laughs> oh, Scoot, you're you're wonderful. Look at his little strut. He's like Carl. No wonder I like Scoot so much. He really is just like Carl Pilkington. Scoot looks like he's really happy. I'm glad, Splat. I feel like today brought us even closer together as friends. You stay away from my duck. I'll take extra special care of the present you gave me. No one's gonna mess with it on my watch. Scoot wakes up in the middle of the night. His little flap reaches for the art titty. And then he- then visions of Cyrus fill his head. But I have to talk to Bob real quick. Well, if it is an old vine, I thought I'd come visit the burbs today. Good to see ya! How you been, Beb? It's fun to hang out on Main Street during off hours. Bob is a fascinating creature. Here in this beast intersectional... ...the game. <laughs> Scoot put up the gift I gave him. Yes! This is the best moment ever. He likes the gift enough to... ...set it up in his little house. And now... ...we can have a cum-quack. Hey, bro. You play that move it or something, tip tube? I'd like to. Yeah, get your rod ready when a fish appears. I know. <laughs> I know, Scoot. A new animals has moved in. Hmm. Which animals is this? It's 
Bill the Duck. Were you practicing boxing the other day near the river? I've been living here for a few days already. I could swear I've seen you. Doesn't matter. Nice to finally meet you. I'm Bill. Yo, Vine. I'm having deja vu, Quacko. Didn't we just talk- What do you mean, Quacko? Wait a minute. That's not yours. That's that other duck. Who's the other duck in the goddamn town? I don't even remember the other duck. Qu uh, Quackbert. What's- what's- mm, Not Scoot. The other one. Molly's being nosy. I'm moving out today. I just wanted to say I'll always remember you and the crazy things we did together. You, you take care of yourself. Don't forget your daily nap from Lucky. Be like that, Lucky. Duck only town. Soon. I'm really excited about the birthday present you got me. It opens up brand new possibilities in my exercise Which Molly, stop being nosy. In my exercise routine. Thanks for that. Your pal Scoot. Let's see what Scoot got me. It's a work shirt. A Scoot trying to send a message? Scoot's trying to say stop this TV show host nonsense and get get a real job. I think so too. The whole look isn't as blah as I thought it might be. Cool's okay too, I guess. Our neighbor actually has a fantastic sense of style. Good for her. Thanks for doing this, Ryan. Hey, you should get something for all your trouble. Here, have a bamboo shoe. Why do you have this? Exactly. Hopefully that's a nice thank you gift. Do you think she'll get mad if I just... ...get rid of it? Why are you supposed to leave, like, four times? Whoa, you got an axe! That's kind of a big boy tool, isn't it? Are you sure you can handle that? B be careful! It's alright. If I cut off a tentacle, you still have seven more. Check out my awesome massage chair. You're into stuff like this, right? I knew it! You want me to give you mine, don't you? So you get in the chair, and then a secret compartment opens up. It just starts stabbing you in the buttocks. It's to keep you alert. You know, just in case you start falling asleep on the massage chair. It's just- it's just a way to wake you up. Pharaoh's outfit. Are you kidding me? I get to be a pharaoh? So now I just need to, um... Get the headdress. And then I can be a real pharaoh. And I can subjugate my town. I mean, I can... Rule- I can- I can guide my town in a loving direction. Well. Uh. Okay then. It's a cursed item. For real. Are you motherfucker, are you kidding me? It's a- is that a lobster? That's a fucking scorpion? What are you doing? What is this? What is this? No, oh, Molly! No, it's not the time, Molly! I'm- I'm running from a fucking scorpion, Molly! It's the curse of the pharaoh. Yep. I tried to catch it. I could not catch it. It's the curse. The curse continues. The curse of the Tutankhamun cold. Just take my lady palm and don't say a word about- What the fuck is this? Thanks, Scoot? Scoot's just giving me shit. Thanks for being my super nice someone. Scoot. That's so nice of you. I know what you're doing, you're trying to butter me up. I'm Ra. One of these letters, with my powers of prediction, one of these letters will be that an animal has moved away, and it's medley. Moving day has finally come, to be honest, I'm a little reluctant to leave this town. And all the friends I've made here, but it's time to move on. I'll miss you. Take care. Medley is now cursed. Oh, oh, this is the new place. Oh, shit. Why is there like a little colony of people being built up here? What What the hell's going on? Joey. Wait, isn't Joey a duck too? What have you got here today? Oh, I'll buy the pig. How much for the pig? And do you have any knives so that I may, um, create bacon? Hello, Ketchup. Hey, it's totally fine. Ketchup looks like she's just been caught in some kind of... Like, I wasn't supposed to know Ketchup left town. She thought she would never see me again. And here we are. You know when you run into someone that you just don't want to see again? Oh, uh, here's... Here's Carl. I mean, Joey. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, uh, Joey. I've been living here for some time now. Where you been? Oh, I'm kidding. It's always nice to meet someone new. Huh? See you around. Back! <laughs> Cherry? 
Yo, Vine, you hear shopping? Cherry. This huge sound, it stirs up my animal blood. What, what, Cherry? She is my cherry pie. And eat some ass. I'm heading to my super secret fishing spot right now, so don't follow me, okay? It's where I go to spend a little quality time with myself. Fishing. You're gonna go fishing, right? At the quality secret time spot? Uh, what do you want, Cronando? I heard a rumor that Joey is thinking about moving out of town. Do you know anything about that? It might just be a baseless rumor, but I'm a bit curious anyway. Joey! Oh no! Which... Wait a minute, that's the yellow one, right? Oh no! I can't, I can't let Joey... I just, I can't let him walk around with fleas. I'm always checking my calendar to make sure I don't miss any spe special happenings like Scoot Bar Mitzvah. Let's see, the next event is... A ways off yet, itch itch. Good, uh, chat. My flea, did you pick it off of me? As my way of saying thanks, please keep that flea as a present. I'm okay with Joey leaving town. I, I think that's fine. I will attempt to summon a new Animal Crossing game by playing Animal Crossing directly before the Direct. So everybody get your Animal Crossing cards, put them in a pentagram, and pray and get your hopes up. Well, this looks a little weird. What the hell happened to my house? What happened to my town? Hey, Scoot. What's- can you tell me what's going on here? I don't need to look Scoot in the eye. You're the new mayor I've been hearing about. I'm Scoot. What the fuck? What- Scoot, what- Who am I talking to? Zip zoom. You zip zoom the fuck out of here, Scoot. Oh no! What the hell is going on here? Scoot! What the f- Press A to shake a tree like crazy, how There's only Scoot! Scoot confirmed for Smash. Scoot confirmed for Smash! Whose house is this? It's- it's Scoot's house. Zip zoom. Am I still sick? Do I still have a fever? Um... Hi, Scoot. <laughs> Scoot, what? How many Scoots are there? This is OG Scoot. This is- this is my... dream come true. I wished upon a star. <laughs> and it finally happened. But hey, I really don't want my old outfit. You should take it as a moving in present. Oh my god! What the fuck? This is a very cursed town. Now I understand what a zip zoom means. I got zip zoom to the other side of the fucking town. <laughs> Look at him talking to me from the distance. <laughs> Look, he's getting so sick of me. Are you really that surprised to see me doing some thinking? That's kind of rude, Vine. You better leave me alone. Scoot thinks. Oh, oh my god, this hurts, but it's just... It's feeling like a headache. What feels like a headache, Scoot? <laughs> Scoot can't say thinking just like Scoot can't say... Banana. Oh shit, this Scoot is thinking too. Oh fuck, there, there's a global hive mind. Even an indoor glo global hive mind exists. So, it's not just outside Scoots, it's inside Scoots as well. And, oh my god, this is- this is weird. Because of how many scoots there are, I can only have a limited amount of interactions. Give me that Animal Crossing. Animal Prison. YES! It's real! 
Mario, it's real! Meme magic is real, everybody. I mean, it'll be banned soon, but... But for now, meme magic is real. So... Yeah, mate. Check this out, mate. Yeah! Welcome to the pizza experience. Here you go. Here's one for you, Southbird. Rest in peace. <laughs> Southbird has um, a knack for thumbnails. Let's just say. But you should support the captain. He's good. God damn it, Scoot! I'm gonna get something out of you. Even if I have to hack the game like Southbird did, he has a pr pretty amazing Animal Crossing video. He manages to get custom text in Animal Crossing. Beast intersection, which is like you know Animal Crossing. 